Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to Synchronicity Web TV. I am your host, Nadia Shaw, and this is your moment of synchronicity. Well, I'm so excited to celebrate with you today, my friend, Katie Weber. Katie and I are having a bit of a reunion and a celebration and a, a girl's talk, and so that's great. But I know you've seen Katie on my channel before, especially if you've watched me for a while. She is one of the world's leading feng shui experts. And so every year, uh, Katie puts out this thing called a success pack, and it's a, a PDF download book, and it's just jam-packed with incredible information about what's coming up in this feng shui new year. And so she's going to talk about that. We're going to talk about an overview of what to expect, especially in the light of the fact that this interview is publishing just in time for Chinese New Year, the 10th of February, uh, which coincides with the new moon in Aquarius. And so we are going to have a lot to talk about here. Um, she's going to do horoscopes for the different signs as well. And you're going to see us have a lot of fun. And if you want to know more about what uh, Katie does, about her success pack and so much more, you can check out the description below or go to redlotusletter.com. Her website is amazing. It has all these tools and calculators and stuff. That's how I discovered her. So I was a fan of hers and I was blessed by her work for years. And then we became friends and it's been such a rewarding journey. So Katie, welcome. Thank you for being here. Oh, Nadia, thank you. The pleasure is mine. I am so happy to be here with you. It's always, it's a, a heartfelt reunion every time we get a chance to talk. And I'm so glad to be here with your superstars today because, uh, you know, they love you and uh, they're such great. You have the greatest folks. I, we, How did we get so lucky? We both got, we have wonderful people, you know, just great people. And we've got so much to talk about. I can't wait to tell you about the year coming up. Yeah, we do. And yes, I know, like, my audience, I so appreciate them. Like, I, I try not to be corny, but I think I kind of am. But I know, like, every video I do, I always end it with, especially the weekly videos, like, just thank you so much. Because I never take it for granted that there is so much love out there, like, in a very literal way, no matter where I go in the world, someone wants to meet me. There are people who watch me, but also online, like the love that I get, the positive energy people bring my way. It is such a blessing. We are very fortunate to have such dedicated uh, friends and fans and superstars and followers and students uh, as you do as well. You know, you write, you raise a really good point about like this, this community that you've created, the community that I have you know, uh, there is a lot of love out there. There is, it's here. We're, it's between us right now. It's, but it's with your folks that are watching this and there's a lot of love out there. So, you know, if you just turn the news off, watch this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that love. See what happens. Yeah. And something good might happen. Love series, uh, for, for Valentine's day. Yeah. Oh, yes, because it is Chinese New Year just in time for Valentine's Day as well this year. Uh, and so you're all decked out. You got your good feng shui energy going exactly where you are. I know she's thought about all of it. Okay, so let's start with those people who maybe don't know as much about feng shui. Can you define what feng shui is? Sure. It's kind of the concept that the way your home is arranged, it has an effect on your health, wealth, and well-being and your happiness. And, and when we say arranged, I also, there's also a time element. This is an important thing because you know, as an astrologer, uh, the planets are constant, they're dynamic. They're constantly in motion. And when people think about feng shui, we often think about, oh, it's where I put a picture here, but, or where my door is there. And, but the important aspect to remember about is, and as we're coming into the Chinese New Year is to know that your house is dynamic too. It's as above, so below. Your house is a reflection of the energies that shift and change because there's actually a correlation between Western astrology and feng shui. So if you've ever wondered why did it, why does something happen when I move this here or there? Well, that's because there are different energies that move and shift. And you alluded it, to it, my success pack. Every year I write a forecast on what those energies are and how they're going to change and what what they're how they're going to produce different 
different effects in your life based on the different directions of your of your home or your your bedroom. But feng shui is, I think, a tool. It's a wonderful tool, just like astrology. It's a tool that helps you to understand time and its influence on space, which is its influence on our lives. So that's money, everything. Love. Yeah, right. And I think it's um it's a powerful thing to consider, like even just in your own life, if you have never heard of Feng Shui before, although I would be surprised because I know that that it has become something that a lot of people have awareness around now more than ever and more continue to, but it's about being in a space that is home to you that has the kind of vibes that support where where it is you desire to go, what it is you're hoping to live and manifest, what it is you want to feel. Like home exactly. is different things to different people. What do you want to feel when you're in home? I think feng shui can help a lot with that, but working with the energy so that you feel it works more harmoniously. Now a question just came up, Katie, so I'm going to interject. And I'm going to ask you, the other day, when I was here, I thought to myself, oh my God, I love hotels so much. I love <laughs> hotels. I love travel. I love, like, it's almost like being a turtle in a way, right? I love that everything has like a little bag and a little compartment and I organize it. And part of the fun of travel is also getting my suitcase ready. And then of course being in the air, but then being in hotels as well. I love it. It's like a, a microcosm for a world of adventure. And, and, and I love that I can feel at home wherever I go. So what would you say somebody like me who, I mean, I have my parents' house, so I know I have a home base, but it's not really home. And I'm kind of searching for home, but God, do I ever love hotels and just being where I want to be. And then when I feel called to somewhere else to just be able to go like that, that is so me. So what would you say to, what does that represent? Do you think? Well, I mean, I know that you know that you'll go into some hotel rooms and go, I love this. This is great. And then you go to other hotel rooms and go, I'm not really happy here. I just don't feel comfortable. And you just can't put your finger on it sometimes. Maybe the colors are kind of weird in the room or maybe the layout is weird. So, you know, I'd say for travelers, there is a good travel feng shui. I mean, and, and it's interesting that you, you bring this up because I think one of the things that we like about hotels is that things are moving. There's something is moving and going and you like that energy shift. You like that change. You like that dynamic, uh, uh, energy that comes with a hotel of people coming and going. But you also know, so for instance, I know I stayed at this one hotel, Shishipupu Hotel in Hawaii, and it was a beautiful place, except it had this giant mirror opposite the bed. I couldn't sleep for anything. Do you ever have rooms that make you feel uncomfortable though? I'll tell you, um, actually, I travel with like different sheets and things like that, because sometimes there's art that doesn't really support the energy that I'm hoping for. And I remember one hotel being in where um, the hotel was filled with, um, and I forget his name, but he is a Colombian artist and he's sort of known for images that are um, a the very blueprint. exaggerated round people, right? People who look very well fed, put it that way, but almost yes. like cherub looking people. But anyways, these images of people who looked really heavy and it was like all women and it, and they were like workers and there was like, you know, they were working on farms or whatever. And as I looked at these images, I just felt like these women look so burdened. Like that's literally how they look. Like they're carrying heavy wheat on their back or something. And they're, yeah, it was very odd. I think it's really interesting too, what you were talking about, those images where the women look burdened. And that's a really important aspect of feng shui is how does your house look? How does it, and you you said another word just a little bit earlier about feeling. How does it make, how does that hotel room make you feel? Does it make you feel luxe and luxurious and pampered and, you know, relaxed? Or does it make you feel a little uncomfortable or ill at ease, that kind of thing? But basically, you know, when you look around your home, what you see is what you get. And this is how I describe it for a lot of people. I have a client and she said, 
that she, she and her husband were having a hard time. And she said, I started looking around and she said, I noticed all the pictures in my house were single women that were like looking off at the seashore like this, you know? And she said, with her back turned and, and she said, then I went, you know, maybe I need to have a picture of a happy couple or a happy looking woman. And she said, it's, I took, I went through the house. She said, I took all those pictures down and put up new pictures. I felt completely different. Also had another, I had another client, very successful man. You walk into his office. It's nothing but trophies and accolades and pictures of him with the mayor and the president. And, and just everywhere you looked, it's him. And it's all the things that he's accomplished. And to me, what he sees is what he got. He kept seeing more accomplishment and more success, and he kept getting more accomplishment and more success. So what you see and what you, how you're surrounded in your environment makes a big difference. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's your home or your office or a hotel room. I'm thinking about it now. And, you know, that hotel, that was my first time in Latin America. And I mean, I've since traveled extensively around Latin America. But during that trip in that hotel, I remember that was where I really became aware of um, how hard people work, how some people work really, really hard for very little pay about worker exploitation. Like I, I really felt like I came up close with with that in a way I hadn't before. And yeah, I mean, isn't it interesting? The art ended up supporting that. Yeah. And yeah, so I, so this is a really good tip for your, for all the people that are watching now is just to look around and do you have, you, you know, if you've got a degree or you have, you know, pictures that were taken with famous people, are they up? Do you have them displayed? Uh, do you have them? Uh, do you have pictures or of, of any kind of certificates that you've gotten? If you do that at work in your office, put up your degrees, put up your certificates, put up pictures and clippings and things where you've been quoted in the newspaper and look around in your house and look at pictures that, that you have hanging. Do they make you happy? Do they feel when you look at them? Do you see success? Do you see something beautiful? Does it inspire you? Does it make you happy? Look around. And if you want to change your life, really change your life, you can take all the pictures down off your wall and move them to different places. And you will view your you will view your world differently from that. If you want to see something different in your life, you're like, I need a big 180 degree turnabout change. Take all the pictures down and put it in different places. And you will, because you most of the time we'll walk through our house and after a while we just forget, we just stop seeing it. And if you walk around and you change the pictures, then suddenly start noticing things, things again. And then things will, and what's interesting to me is I always say our body holds our spirit and our house holds our body. Our, our home is just another extension of us. And it's, and it's acted on, and, and it acts on us. So what we see in, in our home, and if it's chip tile and scuffed up paint, then we feel like we have a chip tile and scuffed up paint kind of life. And we don't want that. So touch up those, those, that scuffed paint and, and chip tile, fix that. Because let me tell you, when I see broken things or something that's damaged, broke, uh, broken equals broke, you know, so <laughs> especially if you're at the front door, make sure that you are, that you have a front door that looks auspicious. Maybe you have some planners there, but do what you can to make those environments beautiful. I, I, I know I remember, uh, staying at there's the, it's, it's a four seasons property. It's called the George in Paris. Have you ever been there? I have. No, I, I've been to Paris a couple of times, but not so, that hotel. That hotel, I tell you what, it probably puts you in the absolute worst room and you will feel incredible. Wow. <laughs> it's fabulous. It's a fabulous hotel. And the whole time, and this is what, uh, and I keep going back to this word that you said, feel. How does it make you feel? And I felt like I had arrived. You know, we checked into that hotel. I was like, we're here, you know, and it felt great including those big plush robes. <laughs> yeah. So think about what can you do to change the feeling that you have about your surroundings, because that will change how you feel about you and that will go out into your life and it can bring new, new things. You see yourself in a new way when you feel differently. And that's, and that's, and I want to talk about 
the feeling of the year and what we're coming up in with the year of the dragon. It's Saturday, uh, February 10th, year of the dragon. This is a whole new chapter that's coming in with the dragon and all and all. And we had talked a little bit before this call, just a little bit. And I was saying, you know how it's been really kind of stagnant with the pandemic. And we had, we had a metal year when the pandemic came in and, and metal is for the lungs and it's grief. What did we do? We, as a world, we grieved together. We were locked in together. We were masked together. We were all, you know, it was so heavy and so hard. And it just felt like we were just, you know, not going anywhere fast. Nothing was, it was just sadness. And then following the, the pandemic, then we had a walk, two water years and they've been kind of that, you know, it, just off the pandemic and it's still a little leftover pandemic. And there was like sadness, you know, things, we lost family members and whatnot. Well, here we are starting with a whole new change of energy. It is about growth. I want everybody just to picture themselves blooming like a magnificent uh, flowers, you know, whether it's whatever flower is your favorite. I just want you to see yourself blooming. Just see like the petals of a sunflower opening up. And if you've ever seen the sunflowers that track the sun, how they move and they open up so fully, that's the feeling I want everyone to have, whether that, that, that feeling is that you love a lotus or you love a daisy or a rose, whatever that is. I just want you to see that, that image and feel that because we have this new growth that's coming with the year of the dragon. And we have a new 20 year cycle that's coming in with this dragon. So feng shui moves in cycles uh, and 20 year periods. And now we are in a completely new period. And what does that mean to everybody? Well, women are going to be front and center. And this is called the period nine and period nine, we are going to see women just explode on the scene. And what have we been seeing? Taylor Swift, just mega, mega star. There's been nothing, no one like her since Elvis. And here she is, Beyonce. They've had tours that are just crazy. We've got Nikki Haley that's running for president in the U.S., a female president. I don't know whether she's going to win or not, you know, and I'm not making a political statement about about her, but I'm happy to see any time a woman starts steps into the ring that is that's been closed off to them. So hopefully, you know, we're going to see more and more women start to come into our power, especially women that are um, the period nine relates to the south direction and it relates to fire. And that, and it also re relates to women. So it's going to be women between like around 25 to 60, not young girls, not old women, but that, that sort of that mid range of year of women, we're going to see women climbing so much higher and higher in, in positions of authority. I'm excited about that. I think it, it's going to bring a, a, a well, we're, we're just going to be, well, you know, we're in Aquarius month. So these are some big things. We're moving into a new way and a new state of being. Look at us. We're already, even things like um, in period nine, uh, social reputation is going to be going to be so, so big, such a big thing. We're And AI is coming into that. And we're going to be wondering, is that real? You know, what we see. And this is all about social standing. Period eight, which was the young man. That's Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, all these young men that have that rose up. And now, look, they're starting to they're starting to fade as the women are starting to come up. I'm excited about the the year of the dragon and this new cycle of energy that we are that we're coming into and that women are coming into. And so how do we make the most of these energies? So like once again, everybody, I know as I asked Katie this. Uh, she does a very deep dive into what you can actually do to make the most of the coming year. Every year she puts out what's called a success pack, and you can learn more about that at redlotusletter.com. And so I'm not asking you to go through this whole like very comprehensive. I mean, that would take us days to go through easily, if not longer. But if you were to like encapsulate a couple of things that people could do, you already said like in general, it's a good idea to move things around. I love that you mentioned that moving things around moves energies. Hotels have moving energy. I love that you said that. What can we do to move things around so that we bring ourselves into alignment with the year of a dragon and such powerful, wonderful new energies? 
Great question. I love that. I want you to be picking the path of, of your personal growth. You know, sometimes we have a habit of kind of staying in our rut. And, you know, that saying a rut is just a grave open at both ends. <laughs> and so we need to get out of that rut. And I, I am challenging everybody here to pick the path that's going to make you grow. What is it you've been wanting to do? Finish that degree, uh, maybe pursue a passion or a hobby that you've wanted to, anything that's going to make you grow this year. And I want everybody to take up gardening. <laughs> I want everybody to get out and plant a tree this year. Uh, this is all about growth. So if you can do one thing, the one thing I would say that you should do for you and for your family is to find things that will help you grow physically and stronger, that will help you grow um, more emotionally strong and more resilient. Maybe that helps you grow spiritually. Pick those things that are going to help move you along, grow you financially. Maybe it's applying for a new job. Maybe asking for that promotion or asking for that raise. Looking for those opportunities that will help you step up and level up because that energy is all there for us this year to grow. And I want you to be, and if you take the steps and you have this, this energy for growing and then you do it, well, sky's the limit. Let's do the Chinese signs. I would love to know uh, what each different Chinese sign. So for, first you can explain to people, I know, look, a very simple way to find out your Chinese sign is go to redlotusletter.com. And that's where, like I said, uh, Katie's got all kinds of calculators there that you can use for free and figure out all kinds of feng shui numbers for yourself individually. And you'll very easily be able to find out there what your Chinese zodiac sign is. But once somebody does, um, why don't we go through the signs so that people know what to look out for, maybe get a little bit of advice. And again, there's going to be a deep dive in your success pack. I know that as well, but yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I'd love to, you know, yeah. one of the things that I, I'm just going to mention, you are, uh, you are a winter baby and you just had your birthday a few days ago, a week ago. And so here, uh, so anybody that was born in January or February really should check my calculator, uh, for their Zodiac sign because, because we, the lunar new year is based on the, the first new moon of the lunar year. And so that can change by as much as a month. So it can happen anywhere between mid January to mid mid February. And so that could change your zodiac sign. So if you've been born, if you're a winter baby, just go and just absolutely double check that because my calculator is exact. It's not like the Chinese restaurant uh, placemats that are just by the year. So don't just don't use that. That's my only thing. If you're January, February baby, just check that calculator to be sure. But let's start off with the dragon because like, just like Western astrology, where we can't wait to see where Jupiter's going, you know, what's what's the lucky sign that Jupiter is going to uh, touch this year? Uh, Jupiter is also the, the, is the planet that also guides Chinese astrology too, or, and feng shui, because Jupiter is related to, they're called, he's called the Grand Duke Jupiter, and he's the god of the year, just, and he bestows luck. So whatever sign it is, so if it's this year of the dragon, or year of the tiger, or year of the sheep, whatever year that sign is, that means Jupiter is your friend. That means it's going to be an expansive year. That means the luck is with you. So all you all you dragons out there go, woohoo! <laughs> you know, you've got, you've got the Grand Duke Jupiter behind you, bringing you all kinds of good luck. And here's what I want to say. It's not just good this year. It rolls into the next year too, because the energy that, uh, that, that, that you develop this year will roll into the next year. So it's really two good years that you've got, uh, coming to you. So dragons, uh, let's look, what have you got to look forward to? Lots of growth, lots of transformation and an important role for women in your life. I want you to look for women who can help you, women you can partner with, women who can maybe make your life better in some way. And that can be a woman that could be a massage therapist. It could be a wonderful astrologer, <laughs> maybe someone feng shui. Uh, it could be that woman who is a financial advisor for you or, or someone, uh, maybe a mentor. So look at how you can partner up this year because women are going to bring you opportunities this year. And if you can, and also if you can partner up with opportunities, maybe you 
you can uh, talk with uh, people in your industry, but this is where you're going to make money. Also, real estate has opportunities for you too, Dragon. So I think you've got some really good stuff going. Here's my only, my only, th uh, my only thought for you is just watch your health. Make sure that and, and and any financial problems, anything that comes up, this is good for dragons and snakes, actually. So anything that's small that comes up, take care of it. Take care of it while it's small. It's kind of like a weed. You know, you want to get it when it's small before it goes to seed and then you weed for seven years. Anyhow, so just handle things when they're small and you'll be you'll be great. Now, snakes. Snakes also have a really terrific year ahead. Snakes are going to be enjoying opportunities uh, in in uh, in in real estate, uh, maybe moving to another house, enlarging at ways that you can develop uh, a meditation cycle or some type of thoughtfulness. And because this is a year that you're going to want to uh, be very grounded in yourself and look for people that are super solid for you. Now, we all know that we've got some people in our lives, maybe they're family, maybe they're friends, and they're not the best uh, influence for us. Maybe those, you know, those people can just kind of go, let them go and look for those people that are going to help guide you and that who are going to help position you for success because they're out there and I want you to take care. I want you to have that opportunity. So partner up and network for your net worth because these are, again, partnering up is going to also help you as well. Let's talk about horses. Now, horses have a little bit of a tough year. Last year, they had the prosperity star. This year, horses are going to have, it's called the seven star. And the seven star could bring up all, a lot of difficulties with a variety of things. But I, every star a positive has a negative side. Every negative star, we call the energy stars, interestingly. And the, and the and some of the negative stars actually have a positive side. So let's talk about that. What do you need to look out for, horse? Double check those credit card statements. Make sure your passwords are good because there's this is identity fraud time. So just make sure that you are you double down on your internet security and take care of that. Now, what do you have to look forward to? Well, I'd say if you thought about doing something that is surgical, this is a good year to have that. So what are we talking about? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's you want to get LASIK because this the horse relates to the eyes. If you wanted to get LASIK, get rid of the ditch those glasses and contacts. You're tired of them. This is a great year for that. The other thing that it's good for is if you want to get like uh, your teeth straightened, do some like an Invisalign or something like that. This is a great year for braces and, and that kind of work. And uh, I think, you know, if you can focus on that, also I want you to focus on let things go. We all know that there's some things, there's a, there's a saying and it's let go uh, or let go or be dragged and you don't want to be dragged. So make sure that this year that there are things that you know that are dragging you along, that you feel like they're a drag or you feel like it's running you over the, it's rough shot. Let them go. Be like the tree in the strong wind. It just drops the dead branches. Let go of the stuff you need to, and you're going to have a great year. All right. So next we have sheep and monkeys. You have the, the energy for the year that is go, 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 go. I'm excited because sheep has been, this has been one of those yeah, a couple of years that it's like sheeps are like one of the sweetest signs. They're like you. Uh, you're you're a rabbit. Sheep are also wonderful, sweet signs. They're very grounded, very kind. And so I love it that they're going to have a party kind of year. <laughs> so this is a year that sheep are going to see lots of activity. And I want you to be thinking about or let me also be thinking about enlarging your life. We have this, you have the star of, see, I'm already, I'm already taking it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a sheep too. <laughs> you have the enlargement star. That means I want you to be thinking about what can I do to make my, my life bigger, whether that's travel or maybe, maybe it's time to move out of that one bedroom apartment and get a two bedroom. Or maybe you want, maybe you want to buy some land. Think about ways that you can make your life feel larger for you. 
and, and, and expansive for you. Maybe it's having a new pet come and join your home. Maybe it is adding on to the, the house that you have. So be thinking about what you can do that is going to enlarge your life because it's coming. You've got a great year ahead and make that, make every opportunity you can to uh, enjoy this year because it's got some fantastic energy. And here's even better news. You got a great year next year coming to. So there's another, you got two years in a row and it's going to be another great year. So uh, congratulations, sheep. All right, monkeys. Let's see, what do we need to talk to you about? You have got another year of growth and and and, uh, and addition again with prosperity, opportunity. This is a time that maybe you're, you're primed to look into the stock market or maybe you're looking at some investment property. I want you to be starting to think about how can you enlarge your financial stake in your life? How can that you make that grow? Do you have a financial planner? If you don't, get one. Maybe it's time that you just start making those deposits into a, like a stock investment program. It's a great year for that. So I think that's a, a, a wonderful year. The only thing I would caution you about is that there's a po potential, I, and I want to say this for both sheep and monkey, if you, you, you are both uh, sporting the pregnancy star. So pregnancy is a real possibility this year. So if you want to have a baby, that's good news. If you don't want to have a baby, you, now you know. So just watch out for that. You know, be prepared either way because the pregnancy star is with you. So that's nice. That's another way we can enlarge. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the rooster. Now the rooster's got a little bit of a challenging year. Uh, you have had some great energy the last couple of years, but this year, it, it's one of those years that I want you to go the straight and narrow. Uh, wild stock schemes, don't do it. Wild, uh, you know, you want to, you know, you, you're you going to leave your job as an accountant. You're going to be a professional mountain climber. Let's not do that this year. <laughs> it's the year that it's like, you know, do every, do your taxes on time, maintain those important relationships look after your health. If you've got something that comes up, a weird molar bump, get it checked out right away. Really follow the straight and narrow. I know that's not exciting advice, but make sure you do. If you do, if you start driving a little recklessly or something like that, you could have an accident. There could be a problem and, and, and we don't want that. Nobody needs that. No rooster needs to deal with that. Okay. Now let's move on to dogs. Dogs have a wonderful year coming up. This is a nice break. You had the same energy that the rooster has this year. You're getting rid of that. And now it's all love and roses. So if you are a single dog and you have been looking and, and playing the field, this is the year that I want you to do what you need to do to get yourself out there because you need to be seen. It's important that you look your best and 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 pick bright colors. I want to tell you something. I know we all talk about the little black dress, but really it's about the little red dress. The little red dress is the thing that gets all the eyes turned on you. Lady in red. Nobody says late. Nobody sang a song about lady in black. They sang a song about lady in red. Get a, a pretty pretty colors. Wear bright colors because you are the sign that everybody's looking for. Now, if you are a pig, here's the good news. Pack your bags. If you want to get out and travel, that you have got the travel uh, star that is going to be backing you up wherever it is that you want to go. So plan a, a wonderful trip with your honey. Uh, it's a great year for romantic vacations for all of us, but especially for dogs and for pigs. So I like that very much. Now, if you're a dog and you're or a pig and you're going to school, you have great study energy. You have great examination and test taking energy. And if you're a writer, a salesperson, or anybody who an actor. The, you've got all the great energy working for you. So go out and submit those manuscripts. Go and do those uh, do those auditions. You are going to have the luck of the Irish when it comes to being seen by others. And uh, so make sure that you look your best at all times this year. All right, let's talk about the rats. Rats have a fantastic year. Lots of opportunities coming. Now, here's what I want to say, rat. Is sometimes rats can be a little persnickety. They might be a little picky about what comes to them. Here's what I want to say. When that brass ring comes along, grab it. Uh, Tina Fey once said, always say yes. You can figure out the details later. 
So here's what my advice to you, Rat. Say yes this year. Grab that opportunity, take those chances, apply for the promotion, and also look at ways that you can make some money because money energy is there for you this year. You've got uh, some really nice opportunity. And it's also a good year to uh, to look uh, for love that has money. So, uh, you know, uh, look for that, that special someone, maybe that's got a nice bank account and can take you on those champagne and caviar kind of trips. Never a bad thing. All right, next up, and we're working our way to your sign, Nadia. <laughs> we're almost there. Yeah, yeah. I know everybody almost. who's waiting is waiting, and those who had it are like, oh, okay, tigers? great. What about tigers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, um, let's see, the ox is coming up next. Now, the ox has, has, got, has had a tough row uh, to hoe this past year. But this year, it's it's the year where it's just the the ocean is is bringing uh, opportunities to you, and these opportunities are from afar. Look for people to to network with and mentor you who are a thousand miles or more away from you. This is also somebody with maybe a really cool and exotic accent, and this is an opportunity for you to put yourself out there in a big way, like World Wide Web kind of way. You want to launch that YouTube channel and be a star like Nadia? Here's your year, Ox. Get out there and do it. You have a beautiful opportunity this year to be seen and mentored by people who have prestige, people who can help you rub shoulders with others who can help lift you up. That's what I, I find exciting for you. And Now let's talk about Tigers. Are you ready for a windfall? Who doesn't like checks in the mail? Tigers, you're set for that this year. Be looking for all kinds of great rewards. I hope that you, if you have been watching the stock market, the dragon is roaring in because our stock market here in the U.S. is up to 38,000 now. So it's highest it's ever been. And I think it's going to keep going. We've got a couple of really good years ahead, I think. And I want you to go ka all the way to the bank. So what does that mean? Surprise checks in the mail windfalls yep get those scratch off every now and then maybe buy that that uh, lottery ticket here and there and uh, also look to uh, you might even have an inheritance that comes in so there's like this money that kind of drops out of nowhere for you not bad right <laughs> and also international travel I'll tell you what there's nothing I love just like you Nadia and then getting on a plane in fact I have I have a uh, a trip already planned and on the books and it's in it's in the part of the plane that only has eight seats so you it's the true the true genuine uh, first class not business class first class and it's awesome and I'm a tiger so here's what I can tell you tigers book those trips this is your time to get out and book that business class it's uh, you might just find an incredible deal on there now let's talk about rabbits oh boy. Life is going to feel very different from you for you this year. From last year to this year to next year, very different. You have got three amazing years ahead of you. All I can say is go, go, go. There is so much change and transformation coming and transformation on this, you know, very sort of granular level. This is going to be a very dynamic year. So hang on. Opportunities coming. Victory is coming. Something that maybe has been kind of in the background that, you know, you feel like you just haven't gotten over the hump on. That's going to happen this year. And I'm going to give you an example. I was, I was, um, uh, I've been telling my my son, who is a rabbit, just like you, Nadia. He's he's been wanting to work for an airline since he was eight years old, and now he's the manager at our local airport for uh, a major airline. And so I'm super proud of him. And and he went from just a small part time job to he got this big promotion. And so I'm so proud of him. And that's that's that 180 degree kind of change I'm talking about transformation. This year is going to be a big transformation. There's going to be a victory. What was his victory? He beat out the other 20 people that applied for the job. This, that's what I'm talking about. You're going to have a victory to count. You're going to look back and you go, yes, I did that. Yeah. So, so Nadia, it's a big year. Not only that, but next year, money, money, money. Year after that, more of the same. All good things. So I'm happy about that. You've got a great year ahead. So there we are. We have gone all the way around the 
in the Chinese zodiac. Katie, you are a pro without a doubt. Now, Katie has done this many times, meaning that she does media and things that she has a lot over the years. And it is just so evident. I love it because I can just kind of sit back and just listen and enjoy because you know what you're doing because you've done it so many times being out there as uh, one of the foremost feng shui experts in the world. And now we are friends. I benefited from your work for years. I had consults with you and now we are friends. And that is so special to me as well. So everybody out there, remember uh, redlotusletter.com, the success pack. This is the time to get it as we are beginning a brand new Chinese New Year just in time for the publication of this uh, interview and this conversation that I just had with my friend, Katie. Katie, thank you for being here. I adore you. I loved reconnecting with you. Thank you, Nadia. And I wish you every happiness, health, and prosperity in the year of the dragon. Thank you. And I send that wish out to you and to everybody else out there. So thank you again, Katie. And thank you, everybody out there for watching. Until we connect again, take care. Bye.